I want to ask you about this. Yes. You have a, a animal hierarchy chart. Of intelligence, yes. Of, of intelligence. Of, of, the, of the greatest animals in the kingdom. Okay. And uh, I want you to walk us through this. because it's I a thought... fact. It's scientifically proven. Okay. Believe me, these, these are, you know, superior creatures up here. There's yeah. no doubt. Okay. Uh, and then, and then at the bottom, oh, not at the bottom, you've got the donkey, the parrot, parrot they, and then yeah. you have the lowly sea otter. Ugh. The what? dumbest animal on the planet what Earth. You... Yeah, they're just boring as hell. <laughs> they just go on and on about how much fish they've caught. And okay. I can swim on my back and crack open a clam with some rocks, and you're like, okay, I know that. <laughs> uh, wow, okay, this is, and you said this is all fact. All fact, in okay. fact. Farrell claimed the sea otter is the dumbest animal on the planet. Well, that's not going over too well here on the Monterey Peninsula. Yeah, I think he, he just needs to uh, do, do a little bit more research um, before he makes comments um, like that about the otter. He's crazy. I think they're smarter than he is. Uh, clearly, he doesn't rate himself very highly. He puts himself below the hermit crab and the salmon, so it gives you a little sense of the amount of intelligence that went into creating that. He's wrong. <laughs> He's just wrong. Let's straighten out the facts about sea otters. Are Ron Burgundy's claims true? Is the sea otter the dumbest animal on the planet? Unfortunately for Ron and his so-called scientifically proven hierarchy of animals' intelligence, that is far from the truth. Obviously, Ron wasn't aware of the sea otter's athletic abilities when constructing his hierarchy. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't know that they can solve puzzle pretty quickly. Good. And while he scoffs at the sea otters smashing surface against rocks, he probably doesn't know that tools used require complex cognitive ability. In other words, you need a certain level of intelligence to use tools. While there are quite a few animals that use tools, birds, several primates, octopi, and angry pop stars, to name a few, the sea otters is one of the most resourceful. It smashes food against rocks. And, do they, and what do they do when no rocks are around? They improvise and use whatever they can get their paws on. And who uses something that is taught from mothers to pups? The ability to teach and learn also highlights sea otters' impressive cognitive abilities. The fact that sea otters not only learn to use tools but are able to improvise and adapt to their surroundings should be enough to make a certain anchorman eat his words. But there are more scientifically proven facts that show just how intelligent sea otters are. While sea otters have a lot of staple favorite foods like crabs, they are known to shift their diets in response to changes in the food web. For example, scientists observed that sea otters in Prince William Sound increased the consumption of fish eggs and kelp, possibly in response to the decline of Dungeness crab in the area. And sea otters also use their intelligence to escape predators. One moment, come on up here. We'll go for a little ride. You want to go for a little ride? And while perhaps not a measure of their intelligence, otters' important role in the marine environment ought to be appreciated. They love to chow down on urchins, who in turn love to chow down on kelp or fats. By eating and keeping urchin population in check, sea otters help maintain the health of kelp's forest environment. We're not so sure why Ron decided to hate on sea otters. I mean, they're smart, ecologically important, and let's face it, they're pretty cute too. And one thing is clear, they're not the dumbest animal in the world. If Ron tried to look up facts about sea otters, he wouldn't have made such a ridiculous claim. Then again, I guess we can't expect much from a man who believes that the rooster are smarter than him. This is a sea otter. He can be found in the water. 460 pounds, he needs to eat a lot of sea. Urchins have alone mussels, clams, and snails too. But how he does it, what gets people see, he uses tools.